right then onto a body shop video. So there's a bit of a trial before we start working on the customer stuff. Decided to have a play with a scrap panel. It's going to be a good one because it's already got a bit of bird crap on it, a bit of rust and stuff and a bit of flaky paint. So we're going to have a bash at uh, making this better, basically. So we'll just key it off. Got some 80 grit. We'll, uh, should get a good surface finish on it. So I think it's going to take forever if I'm just doing it by hand. So I'll, uh, we'll run out and we'll get a sanding block and we'll uh, see what we can do. Bit too, bit too big. Well, not smooth enough. Hmm. There. That's the, that's the baby, that. That is the baby. If it's mint, that. Sweet. Let's do it. I've got the brick. It's nice cushions on it there, so it's not uh, too uncomfy. Oh, yeah. Makes a big difference having a block. Take that third crap off. There you go. Got to make sure we key all panelling. Don't want it to. Uh, don't want it not to stick properly. Main areas. These rusty bits. Take them off, because They're. Uh, That'll definitely show through if you don't smooth it a little bit. It's a bit big for me, this brick. When I grow up a bit, it'll fit me better. Let's see, uh, not far off here. I think we're three quarters of the way through it. Probably needs a bit more delicate touch for that. I think but we're pretty much keyed in. Not much more to, not much more to go at. Yeah, I think uh, we're ready to wheel it into the booth. So obviously the booth that we've got is uh, it's probably not best one, but we've definitely seen people painting in worse booths. So we'll uh, we'll get this in. We'll go from there. Go. I think we'll get some paint mixed up now and uh, yeah, we'll get start whacking it on. So we've got a little bit of red left over from one of our cars, so we'll just put a bit of that in there. That'll be enough, we've already put a bit in. Finners, I think. Uh, yeah, it's definitely thinners that. Plenty in there. Just mix a bit in there. We always try and reuse paint pots as well because they'll uh, you get a couple of goes out of them. Looks about right. Not got to worry about getting it on my hands. It's uh, it's not a big deal. I'll just pour a bit of that in there. It's a nice uh, metallic red now. Shut lids on. Don't want, to, don't want to be making a mess and not having a lid on. It's all right. Got some paint. Let's uh, get in here. Well, first job, obviously, I've not got any PPE. I need to close doors on. And both. So we're not quite ready yet because I need some PPE. So this is just an old dark side t-shirt and obviously in accordance with government guidelines, we can uh, make this into a mask. Probably use, use them for uh, wiping it down after. Does that look all right? Yeah. It's got some, got some old sort of years now and then that is painting mask. There we go. I think we're ready to paint now. 
I'm hoping these bits, I might chop this bit off. It's a bit dangly, I don't want it to do it work. There, that. That's good. So, hopefully you can still hear me. Try and move my mic a little bit. But yeah. So we're all ready, we're masked up. I'll just make sure I clean work down before we start. Any dust that's gone, I don't like that. Oh, look at all that coming off. It's a good job we did this. A lot of people just think you can rub stuff down and just go straight to paint, but you've got to make sure. Make sure it's all clean. Right. So, I think. We're ready to start painting. There we go, working. Always test it on a piece you're not as bothered about. It's covering quite nice. Try and do this much of it. Yeah, that's covered that. We even need any filler. Well, there's a few little drips, but we'll worry about that later. Covering quite nice. There are a lot of people saying that we weren't going to do a good job with this, but and obviously needed experience. But I think if you've got all right equipment and you take a bit of time, there's a bit there, dodgy bit there. We've got that sorted. I think that's good enough. What do you reckon, Danny? Yeah? That'll do. So we'll just uh, disconnect that so we don't get any, uh, we don't make a mess anywhere else. Put that down there. Yeah, I think um, we want to bake this off now. I think we'll uh, get this plugged in. And, uh, make sure it's adjusted right. Yeah, we'll make sure that's uh... yeah, just get on there. I think it'll look good. Yeah, hopefully it turns out uh, better than it did before and uh, might be able to get 100 quid out of customer for that. I'll take this off now anyway, it's uh, a bit ridiculous really. So, it was a while ago when I filmed that. We are just messing about. That, that came about because a few people in YouTube and Facebook comments and some people even private messages saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You can't just set up a body shop and start painting cars if you don't know what you're doing, which totally agree with him. But at no point did I say that I were going to be doing the painting unless you watched that first bit of video and believed everything that we we're doing. But as you can see, the bull's up and running and Lee, who's painting that, which this is a Range Rover Evoque with a silly car body kit that um, is made from fiberglass, so we can't take it off really, because it's all bonded in places that it shouldn't be bonded. So whatever you do, if you buy one of them, don't crash it. But we just painted that on the car, but it's dropped on really, because how these ramps are, you can really get underneath underneath the bump so if you can't physically take it off then it's a bit easier to do the repair so obviously that's not a Volkswagen group car and then some of the other bits that we've got going on these are off a motorbike that we're doing some bits on so this is nowhere near finished but well, even know what motorbike is for it's one of Lee's friends or Lee's dad's friends or whatever so we're gonna get all them painted shortly and then Alan's doing some detailing on a car they've just painted, which Danny will put some pictures of that up. And uh, he's done a nice job of that. And then this is one of the lads who uh, works at Darkside's van. Basically, this started out on a quick, let's get a quick um, 
repaint, make it a bit tidier. Then he decided to drill through through the back when he was putting some fly line in it, which was a bit silly. Luckily, he's not one of mechanics; he just works in, uh, in packing. But we've had to take. This has had to go all the way down to bare metal. I saw some bad repairs on that, loads of filler. And then this is the worst bit. Sorry about noise as well, compressor and fans and all. But this could have done with a quarter at some point, but then whoever's done it has decided just to put tons and tons of filler in. But Daniel's car, this is, he's not got enough in the bank to be uh, putting a full quarter on and he's already spent a bit of money on van anyway, which is a bit silly knowing it needed loads of repairs. So yeah, this is another one of them jobs where you quote it and then you start picking away and it gets more expensive. So there's a reason why sometimes you go to a body shop and the price is not what you're estimated. So it is what it is. But hopefully we'll try and do a bit of a walk around of this during Danny's got a bit of stuff before and then we'll try and get a bit more after. So hopefully people have uh, had a bit of a laugh at the first half of this video and then the second half explaining that we've got two guys at the minute, we're potentially having a third at some point. We've got these guys have got 40 years experience in the body shop world. They know exactly what they're doing. Alan used to paint Ferrari and McLaren F1 cars and Lee's just painted everything and knows what he's doing when it comes to the pimpling, repairing and painting, which there's not many painters that can do everything. Lee can. That's why we partnered up with Lee and that's why we took Alan on and we're hoping to do some interesting jobs. So cheers for watching. Please if you can get onto the social media for the body shop and like it, share it, send it to everybody you know and if anybody needs any paintwork doing the idea behind our sort of business model is to get things turned around quickly, not to have cars sat here for months at a time gathering dust. That's not the plan. So, cheers.